and welcome, my name is Itachi and this is your weekly update and patch note with me. I read, you listen, I comment, you play, so you can keep yourself up to date without need to read update. I do it for you. So uh, let's dive in, it's early this week uh, with uh, patch note, so uh, it's gonna, the, the patch have come today, so I'm a little bit late with it. So. Uh, new content events returning heroes event a brand new event had arrived for uh, warlords returning to conquerors blade all of ha ha uh, those uh, character level is 100 or above and who have not logged in for more than 30 days will activate uh, the returning hero heroes event upon logging into the character once activated, the event uh, will be available for 14 days. By engaging in PvP, that is, while uh, the returning heroes event is active, there is a chance to obtain Signet Ring. Exchanging these on the returning heroes reward menu allow you to draw rewards such as Epic Hero Schematic Credit and Past Season Unit Selection. Uh, the in-game store will also provide exclusive discounts to help Warlords to ca uh, catch up. Additional rewards can be obtained from the Returning Heroes signing sign in and the Returning Heroes quest. Uh, returning Warlords who uh, met the requirement and logged in for uh, on uh, or after uh, May 25 will activate the hero, uh, Returning Heroes event as of uh, June 15. Uh, new PvP mode, Banner Conquest. Duration is from uh, today to the uh, 5th July. So available uh, between 12 and 14 on CST and 18 to 20 EDT. Entrance matchmaking menu G event. Rewards Lesser Scrolls of Glory, 500 Glory, Signet Ring, the exchange to the returning heroes event, Steel Tokens, Fame, Silver Coin, Random Schematics, Drop Count Reset every Thursday at 000 server time. Map Imperium Village. Uh, win condition the map comprises uh, three phases and the three capture points. During the each phase only one of the capture points will be unlocked and available for capture. The next capture point will uh, to, un uh, to be unlocked will be revealed in a, sh uh, a short time before the next phase starts. The first side to win during two phases win. Okay. I think I have played this. I think I remember this very very fast phase. Also, remember to contact your old friends about this, so, so they can come back, they can play the game, they're getting rewards and catching up on the games. Uh, capture point, a team gain progress when they are only one with heroes inside the capture range. Uh, there are time limits for each uh, phase. Should the time run out, uh, uh, the one with the most progress win the phase. Naturally capturing uh, the capture points immediately when you the phase. Between phases. Uh, the next phase capture point unlocks 40 seconds after the previous phase ends. Uh, the next capture points will already be really during this time. After each phase, all players on the side with the most capture points recover up to 525 leadership. Uh, while the player on the other side recover up to 600. In the e e ca in case of ta a tie, both teams recover up to 600. Armor, artilleries, and units you will you provide with armor, artilleries, and units, but any runes you equip them will still take effect. Uh, leadership refunds. It costs leadership to drop the units from supply point or deployment menu. You will uh, be a refounded leadership based on how many soldiers remain of a unit you withdraw. 
where treat units uh, cannot be used again. Map changes. The map layout uh, of stat stat static objects not related to the battle are now synced to capitals and territory wars. The position change of supply points and the additional respawn points are specific to the banner. Bug fixes. Um, this is an issue where the left click would stop working for a while after using fine gunpowder when they're using a musket. You will uh, you. For the uh, Would I say pronounce it that in Swedish? Fix it an issue where there uh, was a small chance that newly deployed artillery couldn't be used. I used the quest and challenge uh, description that referred to the peacemaking mode. They will now instruct you to defeat bands of rebels in the open world. And we have something also new here. It's uh, this new PvP event, Battle in Banner Conquest. So that's what we was recently talking about. Control the points, uh, points and achieve victory in the P new PvP mode, Banner Conquest. Hellball now via the Battle Interface J. The stage is set on Imperium Village map, there where the team of six will be battled out in of Supreme, Supreme AC. Banner Quest uh, in is divided into three stages. At the start of the match, there are Three locked flag points in each stage. Randomly open a flag point that can be contested. The first team to win two stages win. Rules: Each stage has a limit, time limit. Uh, uh, at the end of the time limit, the team will highest progress win stay in the stage. A progress bar reaches 100% before the time limit. Team win stage or early. At the end of each stage, the leadership of both teams will be stored. The winning team will return 525 leadership per player. The losing team will return 600 uh, leadership per player. In case of retreat retreating units, leadership will return a proper proportion of the remaining number of troops. Units, artillery and weapons are provided by the mode. Availability and that is 5 to 8. 11 to 2 CST, 11 to 2, 2 and 5 to 8 EDT. Rewards. Playing Banners Conquest grant you random rewards from the list below. Lesser Scroll of Glory, Signet Ring exchange in the Return to Heroes event, Heal Tokens, Fame, Silver Coins, Random Schematics. Drops reset every Tuesday at 12, every time. And this is the, uh, the Frey Banner uh, Conquest. July 5, that is soon. So, I would tell you guys, contact your old friends that stopped playing the game. Get Tell them to come back, there's a special event for them to returning. So, it's the new returning hero event. So, bring the old heroes back to the game, and see you next time. So, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, and comment, and hit the notification. Bye-bye.